most of the operators, the drivers behind this are gay, elite gay men and <clears throat> men with the fetish of autogynephilia, which is possessing women's biology for themselves. Um, and that seems to have been rebranded under this umbrella of transgenderism. I mean, autogynephilia and adult male fetish is a very hard sell, especially to the youth who this project is really trying to capture. The, um, the whole thrust of this thing, I mean, to really just sort of simplify it and sort of, you know, take out the white noise, I call gender ideology an ideology of disembodiment. It's selling people on disembodiment. And transgender is really just the ad campaign. And they've made transsexualism, which is disembodiment and objectification of female biology, sort of cool, you know, by rebranding it to transgenderism. Um, and people are really focused on, you know, they've sort of accepted that narrative instead of going on the offense and going like, what does that mean? What is transgender? Like, and what happened to transsexualism? And why was this added to the LGB? And, you know, who's behind this? And what's this going to do for us? Like nobody asked any of these questions, they just accept the narrative, right? Yeah. And that's a dangerous narrative to accept, yeah. you know, because now we're in a position of arguing for women's rights versus transgender rights, when in actuality, there's no such thing as transgender. It's a, it's a corporate fiction 